Hi and welcome to a tutorial about uh, BlendRef. BlendRef is uh, like uh, PureRef or uh, BRF, uh, but in Blender. So let's see how it works. So first let's divide this viewport and you can find BlendRef here. So there's two ways, yeah, there's the uh, images or movies and the settings for global settings. So let's see images first. So you can import uh, from uh, an entire folder or uh, individual images. So you need to an absolute pass in for the folder. So let's see that. Uh, for example, here, yeah, I got an entire folder with uh, filled with the pictures. So I say import folder. Um, if you don't have, uh, you have this to be unchecked. So this is an absolute uh, pass for now. I have to solve this. So import folder. And here we go. So you have the image in, in uh, full size. You can uh, scale it, uh, move it, and uh, do whatever you want. Okay, uh, rotate it if you want. Uh, I don't know. And you can uh, flip it. You can flip several images at once. And uh, the other uh, vertically too. You can sort it uh, by columns uh, like this. Yes. So if you want to work uh, vertically, you can say image on, on one column. So you would be very, would be very uh, vertical. And if you want to work horizontally, you can create an, another view like this. Uh, let's in this settings and. Let's set a large number of columns and apply. And if you lost, if you lost your your focus on the image, you can go to settings, and there's center view. Center view will show you uh, this image. So that's it. At any moment, you can go back to a normal view of, of Blender. Okay, and go back to center view, and you you're back uh, to it. Uh, for the settings, I, s I use uh, I added a flip all flip all will flip all the pictures. This is very convenient for while you sculpt. For example, for example, if I want to sculpt, uh, I go to sculpt. Okay, I'm sculpting here, and uh, while you sculpt, you you can't select uh, object. Uh, so uh, flip all will let you flip your reference. Uh, without uh, leaving uh, your sculpt uh, mode. Very convenient for that. Okay, so let's go back to to uh, to images. Yeah, I want to import uh, individual images. Yes, you can, of course. Uh, if I go back here, I can add this. It will be add, uh, add the at this place. Okay. And you can uh, you can of course uh, flip it and uh, arrange it in uh, in columns. Okay, like so. So that's it for the images and you can delete everything if you want. Uh, now for the movie. Let's reduce this for the movie. Import movies, and I will go here, and I will go to this, for example. So the movie is here. So you can read it at normal speed. And if you want to loop, if you want to loop, you can go there, for example. If you want to contact, you can set A. See that? Uh, and uh, go back to the other contact, like this one, for, for example, and say B, and then it will loop forever uh, between these two points. You can slow it down. So, so this is very cool for uh, a image, uh, for uh, animation reference. And you can, of course, adjust by moving these two keys. So if you want uh, the contact to be at uh, at uh, 50, 
you can use like this. Very efficient. So, if you want another uh, another version of this uh, particular movie, you can clone it. And you can, uh, of course, uh, unloop it. And you can freeze. To the freezer, you freeze at the time you want. So you can freeze at another time. Yeah, so you can use a uh, image reference for, from a movie, for example, like this. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, if you have a, a movie that is, for example, uh, that takes longer time, like this one, for example, um, imagine you want to use images that are very far away from the from the frame zero, so you can just uh, look at the frame number and use an offset and apply. So now this image is is here now, and you have some amount you want the right time, so I can use A, B on it. OK, and see it in slow motion. OK, and you can uh, adjust the uh, preview range of, uh, so your animation will loop accordingly to, to the movie loop. And you can uh, use it for, for any, any images, not uh, for this one, for example. So that's it. You can unloop it. And, uh, And that's it. And loop and freeze. Oh, it's get this play. Okay. So that's it for the movies. I think I'll show you all. Uh, preview range and loop. Uh, yeah, get it all. So for the settings, uh, uh, you can at any time uh, go to go back to Blender settings, to Blender uh, default settings by using this, and go back to to Blender life like this. You can uh, delete uh, all videos, for example, this, and delete uh, all frames too, uh, like this. Uh, this location is. Uh, this actually our object uh, in the scene, so this is the location uh, when you import it. So if you want to import it uh, at another place, as a location, you can change this number and Im import again. Uh, this is the background color, so you can of course uh, change the background color uh, like you want. And that's it.